All right, I wanted to show everyone what I spent pretty much all of yesterday making. This is the Lego Grand Piano. It's got over 3,000 pieces in it. Um, I'm gonna give you a quick tour of it. Like any piano, grand piano. You open it like so. Raise the lid. We've got a music desk, which we can set up here. It's adjustable. It's a particular angle. Get it like that. <clears throat> you can open the fall board. Um, we'll get right to the fun stuff, which is this, we open up this little door in the side. You'll see this light. This is a Lego powered up device, meaning it's electronically controlled through Bluetooth. And what's cool about that is when you get your Lego app and you put it on the, put your phone on the fall board here, <clears throat> sorry, on the music desk, we can now play music like, uh, since we're heading towards Christmas, let's turn music to we wish you a Merry Christmas. And you'll note that it plays the keys. If you look to the side here, you'll see that it's also raising the dampers. Now the movement is not correlated to the actual music. It is a simple pattern. Three possible location, three possible um, locations of keys, and uh, at any one time. When it finishes, it should stop here. Okay, you can also. Rather than just listening to a piece, you can also pretend to play a piece. Let's do Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And here it plays a note with each keystroke. But it doesn't matter what keystrokes you're playing. So that's how that works. Now, just like uh, a real grand piano. You can take this all apart. We pull out the small equivalent of bolts that would be in the in a real piano. The fallboard comes off, and then the entire action can be removed. Oh, we're still hooked up. The action took a good third of the building time, I'd say. It's pretty, it's pretty remarkable. Um, they've attempted to make it look very much like a real piano action, complete with the red and green felt for different portions. Um, what's amazing is that uh, all of these are just regular Lego bricks. Nothing was custom made for this piano except for two blocks. One, we have the Lego logo, which is actually the original antique. I mean, this is, this is a classical logo. I, I think I have a few bricks with that logo back in Wisconsin. And the second piece that they printed is a piece of music by the gentleman that invented this came up with this model. What's cool about this piano is that Donnie Chen is a is not a Lego employee. He's a fan who uh, designed and built this and got the necessary 10,000 upvotes to have this put into uh, a list of, of possible uh, new new Lego projects to be built, and he got it built. Uh, 
if we look inside, I'm going to close this up here. Set the fall board back down. Sorry, the music desk. And if we look inside here, you can see the mechanism, which um, which turns each of those little white, red, and blue cams rotates and plays the plays the keys. So we can put all this back. Actually, while I've got this open, we can look <laughs> at the bottom. It has a it has a proper sustain pedal which lifts the dampers. It's got the legs with the wheels. Now we can put all this back. Having worked on my own grand piano, it's just as finicky getting this all back together as a real one. Here are the two holes that are, this is all held in place from underneath once we get this in. Like so. Say it's finicky. Let's try this one first. Hmm. All right, we'll try it later. And last but not least is the traditional artist bench with the I love the buttons on here to make it look like it is upholstered, but just like a proper artist bench, it has the mechanism to raise and lower. I tried ordering this the morning that it went on sale. Um, it was, I think, 8 a.m. on a Saturday in Arizona and they'd sold out in apparently an hour and a half so I got my name on the the list for when they started a second run and it was worth the time and effort to to wait for it and to get it and uh, hope you enjoyed this